t-shirt and I recommend grabbing a larger size and a serger because we're working with stretchy fabric. Just a little tip, look for the athletic t-shirts because they are wick away and this is good material for making a swimsuit. So you're going to want to start by taking in the shirt to your measurements. So pin at the waist and at the hips. And I definitely recommend grabbing a t-shirt long enough that goes past the hips. So now that you have these points, you're going to want to make your cut. And we're just going to measure really quick so we get an accurate cut. And then we're going to draw a line vertically all the way across the t-shirt. Pretty much plan on cutting off the entire arm sleeve all the way up to the shoulder. Then go ahead and repeat this process to the other side. And a little tip, we like to do the same measurements to the other side, so that way it stays symmetrical. So now you're gonna wanna put it back on inside out, and now we're gonna get a more accurate fitting. So you're gonna wanna pin it in three places, at the waist, at the hip, and at the armpit. And then do this for both sides. Definitely try to take it in as close as you can towards your body. So now we're going to be using those pins as guidelines to help us make that curve. And we're going to be using a French ruler. This is a really accurate way to make a solid curve for the shape of the body. And then go ahead and do this on both sides. And there will be links in the description for all the tools we are using, so go ahead and check that out. So now go ahead and cut off the axis fabric, and I would do about a quarter inch seam allowance on this, just to give yourself a little bit of playroom. So if you don't have a serger, I recommend using a zigzag stitch, but start at the bottom and start sewing up and around that curve, but do not sew the armhole closed. And the nice thing about a serger, you don't really have to worry about cutting these off because you can just sew and cut. And overall, it makes for a longer lasting product. So now we're gonna make a mark down the middle and sorry that it's kind of hard to see, we're actually gonna go back through a Sharpie so it's a little bit easier. And this is where we're dropping the neckline down. So we're just getting the measurements so you're gonna to wanna to make a mark as low as you go at the bust and then at the top by the neckline and then connect all those points. And this doesn't have to be totally accurate, just get a basic reference so that way you can go back and measure it and then cut it out. So now doing the side, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start at the shoulder and work our way down and we're just kinda of eyeballing this curve, seeing how we kinda of want it to look and then bring it around towards the back. And you can totally get creative with these curves. Drop them as low as you want, go as wide as you want. Really do whatever. And you only have to make these marks on one side. So now we're going to be doing the bottom half. Again, make a mark down the middle. And then drop a little bit from that curve on the side. And then work towards the middle. This is going to be your leg opening. So you can curve it in or curve it out as much as you want. Just remember to not connect it exactly at the middle of the shirt. And give yourself some seam allowance because you will want to hem all this. And do the same for the back curve of the leg opening and you're going to want to make sure it lines up with the front opening so just measure from the middle and make sure you end up at that point point. and as you can see our lines are not that perfect but you can go back through with the french curve and straighten all these lines out next we're going to be cutting just the side curve out Then you're gonna to wanna to fold your shirt in half and use this curve to trace on the other side. And this is why we only draw on one half and then go ahead and cut that curve out. And next we're gonna be drawing up the back and these are just basic straps so we can tie it above the neckline. You can literally make these as far as you want down but now we're gonna start cutting it out and just go along your cut line. 
all the way up towards the neckline and around the neckline and then start cutting the back of the neckline off and then work around your back curve that you cut. And then repeat this process for the other side and the other side is drawn in, it's just drawn in with chalk so it's hard to see. And then go ahead and try it on and see how it's starting to fit. So now we're going to make a mark across the back and cut off that back flap. And you don't have to have this on to make this mark, we just do it so it's easier to see and kind of show you how it's done. So now that it's cut off, you're going to kind of want to make sure that it curves up towards the upper half of your body. And then for cutting the leg opening, you're going to want to fold it in half with the seams together and then cut around your arch. And again, make sure your points line up. Ours were a little bit off, so we had to recorrect our curve and then we went ahead and cut it out. And then pretty much all you have to do is serge that end together. So take it to your serger or sewing machine and do a serge or a zigzag stitch. And next we're going to be showing you a few different options on how to hem your raw edges. If you don't have a serger you can totally just roll it over and do a stitch all the way around it. And that's just a basic rollover hem. We are actually going to be serging all the raw edges. Be sure not to trim too much off, just get it right on that edge. So as you can see, I kind of cleaned up the edge and you can totally just keep it at this look if you want, but we're going to take it a next step further. And if you are just going to keep it at this look, I recommend using thread that matches your fabric. It will blend and just look a little bit more professional. And then the next technique is using a cover stitch. And this is what you see on most of the knit clothing that's in a store. The cover stitch allows you to hem the edges, but also keep that nice stretch with the garment. So you'll be taking those serge edges, rolling them over, and stitching all the way around. And this adds for a really professional look. In this machine, you can do a lot with. You can do swimsuits, you can do t-shirts, you can do literally any knitwear with this machine. In this singer that we're actually using, it can be a serger or a cover stitch, so I highly recommend checking out this machine in particular because you can go back and forth and not have to spend the money on both a serger and a cover stitch. And again, the same color thread as the shirt would really play a big difference on this. You can see that we're using black and you can see the stitching, but the same color, it kind of blends in and really looks nice. And then again, repeat this process to all the other openings. And there you have a beautiful hem. And again, all the links are in the description. Go check that out if you're looking for tools and supplies. We like to source out the best stuff at the cheapest prices. So go ahead and hem the rest of the raw openings. It's done the exact same way. And once you're done hemming, your swimsuit is complete. And we're going to be doing more swimsuits coming up here in the future. So stay tuned. And thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah.